Well, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Linda Jane, where she keeps it simple. Yeah, it's raining outside, a little gloomy. I'm inside, want to do something, you know, <laughs> instead of watch TV, uh, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to get in here in the kitchen and I found this recipe that I'm going to try. It's called French Puffs. It's something like a little muffin. And I thought that I would invite y'all in here with me and maybe you can make them we can make them together yeah it is it sounds like a good breakfast um muffin a puff um a lot of times like on sunday mornings hubby and i don't want a big breakfast we'd be rushing to get to church and uh, we don't want a big breakfast and maybe this would be good for you if you don't want to eat a big breakfast if you can pop it into the microwave and heat it up and have some coffee and milk or whatever you want to drink with it and I'm sure, I am sure that it would be filling. It would be enough for us. So I'm going to get in here and make us some. And uh, just like I said, I'm inviting you in uh, here with me. And uh, I'll show you the ingredients, what I'm going to use. And I got to run out to the store right quick. And I realized that was I was out of some ingredients that I need for this. So I got to run out to the store. So when I get back, I'm going to get over here in the kitchen. And uh, we're going to make this together. And I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm going to use and maybe you can do it with me. All right, so I'll see you when I get back. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all, I am back and these are the ingredients here that you're gonna need. You're going to need one third cup of butter, melted or margarine. You're gonna need one half cup of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, one egg, one and one half cup of self rising flour and one half cup of milk. All right, so let's get started. Y'all, this recipe I found in an old cookbook that I've been had, I know, for about 20 years, 20 plus years. So I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, y'all, here they are, ready for the oven. I'm going to put them in a preheated oven, 350 degrees, for 15 to 20 minutes. And I'll be back. Hey, you guys, I'm back, and I just want to show you the muffins. Here, they're out of the oven, and they're still warm. I have already been into the puffs. I've been into them. I couldn't wait. But I wanted to show you how they look. And they are really good. They are really good and they're soft, fluffy, soft and fluffy. And I'm going to show you the mix that I made for you to dip them in. You mix, um, you put some butter, melt some butter, then in a separate bowl, you put some cinnamon and sugar. And while they are warm, you take them and you just dip it down in that butter and then around into that sugar and that cinnamon. They are good. They're good. They're good. They're really good. So please try them. 
They are really good. I would not lie to you. They are really good. And again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging and hanging in the kitchen with me. I enjoyed you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't forget to smash that bell so you'll be notified each time Linda Jane is in the kitchen cooking. And you know when you see her and when you see that notification, boom, pop on. Hey, Linda Jane is cooking something good. All right, so y'all be good. Have a great day and always know that God loves you and so do I. <laughs> Bye. Okay, y'all, this is the butter. It's one third cup of margarine melted. This is the sugar and cinnamon. And it calls for one half cup of sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And while they are warm, let me get this one. While they're warm, dip it into your butter and just move it around into your sugar. Look like those little sugar biscuits that you that they have on hibachi um, menu. Look just like that. And you know what? It tastes like it. So I'm going to buy into it. Hmm. Let me straighten up this camera. Tastes just like them as well. It's really good. So please try them. You won't be disappointed. All right. Again, have a great day. And always know again that God loves you and so do I. Bye-bye.